Traditionally, cha shu bao needs several days to prepare. We'll make it in just a few hours. No method dough where ammonium bicarbonate is required. Stay tuned! Hello my lovely foodies, this is Cici. Cha Shao Bao is a must eat in any dim sum places. And today I want to show you how you can easily make this at home. In a large mixing bowl, add the cake flour, powdered sugar, instant yeast, aluminum free baking powder, lime water, white vinegar. Pour in the extra light olive oil, lukewarm water, First, use a pair of chopsticks to combine the wet and dry ingredients. Then use your hands to knead the mixture until it comes together into a ball of dough. If it's too sticky, add another tablespoon of cake flour. And if it's too dry, add another tablespoon of water and knead again. The dough should feel soft but not sticky. Cover the dough with a bowl and rest for 10 minutes. On a flat working surface, knead the dough into smooth for about 5 minutes. You might notice our cha shu bao doesn't completely look like the one they serve in dim sum places. That's because I didn't use ammonium bicarbonate. The chemical isn't good for our health when eating too much, so I won't be using it today. Cover the dough with a bowl and rest for 30 minutes. To make the sauce for the filling, we're going to add in the fermented red bean curd sauce soy sauce, oyster sauce, dark soy sauce, honey, chicken stock, and cornstarch slurry, which is one and a half tablespoons of cornstarch and four tablespoons of water. In a pan over medium heat, add the extra light olive oil and onion. Stir for until aromatic for two minutes. Pour in the sauce. Stir until the sauce is thickened. And for my chashu recipe, you can click on the link right here. Transfer in the chashu. Mix and wait until it is cool. We're going to use a rolling pin and roll it out until it becomes flat and round. And also roll the dough into a lot. At this point, the dough is about 20 inches long. Cut off the two ends. Then cut it into eight equal pieces. Work on one piece at a time. Cover the rest with plastic wrap. First, press down the dough. Dust some flour on the working surface. Then roll it into a disc, about five inches in diameter. It should be thicker in the center and thinner around the edges. And do the same with the rest of the dough. Place about one and a half to two tablespoons of the filling in the center of the wrapper. Pinch together the two sides of the wrapper. Also pinch together the other two sides. Seal the rest of the edges. Gather the four pointy ends of the buns and pinch them together. Put the bun on a bamboo steamer. And do the same with the rest of the buns. Cover the lid and rest for 30 minutes until they become bigger and fuller. In a large steamer over high heat, bring it to a boil. Transfer the bamboo steamer inside and steam for 10 minutes.
I really enjoyed our chat shell bow today. The chat shell bow is really fluffy on the outside and the filling is over the top delicious. Mm, so good. This is the kind of thing, the kind of activity that you can have your whole family participate. Have your kids, have your grandma and grandpa, your mom and your dad. <laughs> It doesn't matter how the bow looks like, but at the end you're gonna eat them, you enjoy the process. I really enjoy this whole process and I think my bow is super delicious. So comment below and let me know what do you think about this. Um, is it a recipe that you would go for or maybe not? I will see you again next Friday for another awesome episode. Bye for now!